Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when we had the presidential petition at the Supreme Court, the Deputy President Rigathe Gashagwa told Kenyan that the only person who has delayed the decrease of price of the basic commodity in this country it is Raila Amolo Dinga because of derailing them through the court. And the Gashaga was clear that after the ruling from the Supreme Court, they are going to make life affordable for everyone in this country. And uh, of course the Supreme Court pronounced themselves. We understand very well that we, ha we now have a president, we have a deputy president, and they are putting their government at place. But the life has become unbearable for Kenyans that Ruto referred to as Mamboga, Boda Boda, and Hasla because someone has touched on the price of fuel. So instead of William Ruto allies coming out to explain exactly what is going on, I was surprised to see the tweet from Senator Kiprotich Arab Chiralge trying to insinuate that President Uru Kenyatta went home with everything and he only left behind 93.7 million at the treasury. <laughs> so I want us to go through that tweet and we want to check where the reality is and to understand the reason why Chiralge was sharing this tweet. And this is what he tweeted, the economy is no longer in ICU but dead because His Excellency Ruto found only 93.7 million at the Treasury. Who went home with everything? State capture is real. The country is broke. Kenyans be patient. His Excellency Ruto shall fix this through economic transformation and the prayers from all of us. Amen. So, Chiragay is telling us to pray for President William Ruto for him to fix the nation. And he's insinuating that the treasure has, the treasure has only 93.7 million. <laughs> now, Kenyans, there are so many things that the UDA government would want to play with the mind of Kenyans rather than delivering what they had promised. Because during campaign they gave a lot of promise and even William Ruto was in the just government, Yahuru Kenyatta. It is time to deliver, but they want to shift the blame. And even try to insinuate figures that they are not there in the treasury by playing with the mind of Kenyans. And I want to explain to you but before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and an honor drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, the figures that Senator General Gay is giving is not the truth. The money at the treasury or the money that this country has is not 93.7 million only. That is a lie. It is more than that. Because what you need to appreciate is that the government consolidated account is not the saving account where you check how much we have saved per month. Government consolidated account. So, for you to understand this, you have to know that the government consolidated account is just a summary of the excess or a deficit after collection against the exp expenditure of both level of government. Now, with KRA at over 146 billion and an excess of 93, because what General Gay is selling Kenyans is just the excess. 
at the consolidated account. So the country is just okay. Because if you take 93.7 million plus the KRA money, 146 billion, you have a, up to a tune of 146 billion, 93.7 million. That money can run the economy. So General Gay is trying to play with the mind of Kenyans. While when I exactly what is happening with the accounts in this country and at the treasury. So if he's insinuating that and the people who are you know Kenyans are very brave because if he's insinuating that the only money left behind is 93 million, Kenyans were quick to ask him a question. So if you had 93 million and you did a budget of up to 200 million for the integration of William Root. Does it add up? I'm going to talk about that. means it was 293 million. Mukachukua 200 million. Kufanya integration. Eka back in 93. Now, the issue in UDA party is that they are suffering from the shift of blame even on people who are not in the government they should just give president Uru Kenyatta a break at least you need to rest rather than coming back to respond to political statements actually and i want to tell you the people who are saying that raila odinga should retire or keep quiet and leave president Uru Kenyatta to run the government with the god no need to oppose anything i want to tell you even if raila will not oppose anything Still, the UDA government is going to blame Raila for not opposing anything. Even if he come out and uh, put government on checkmate, they will still complain that he is the problem. Whether in silence or whether he is in active politics. That is the truth of the matter. So, even in opposition or on whichever side, we need to have a voice to tell the truth. There is nowhere they should fix or put blame on President Uru Kenyatta. <laughs> because the only language that these people should know, the only language that Mamamboga understand, number one, it is unga, number two, it is kerosene, number three, it is petrol, and number four, it is gas. Affordable life, na hiyo mambo ingine yote. The language General Gay is trying to bring here, Mamamboga will not understand. Because we understand very well that the Energy and the Petroleum Regulatory Authority had announced the new fuel prices according with the Section 101 of Petroleum Act 2019. And with this new announcement, of course, super petrol price was put at 134.72, diesel 115.60, and kerosene. 110.82. This new prices is coming as a result after President William Samuel Ruto scrapped the fuel subsidy. We understand very well. So Ruto has his own reason why he is scrapping that, because he's saying subsidy is not helping. He's looking for permanent solution. But again, it is going to take more time and it's going to be painful. So with all these new measures at place. We understand very well that people are even struggling to get fuel. Now, even it is becoming to be a scarcity product in this country. The Boda Boda cannot afford the price of fuel. Mamamboka, who is using Boda Boda to transport his goods to and from the market, cannot afford the current transportation cost. The hustler cannot afford basic need because now the transport and everything and even the price of basic commodity is skyrocketing. So there is no need for General Gay to come out and put blame on President Uru Kenyatta, who is nowhere near the office, with fake figures that does not make sense to the electorate. People are very brave. They understand here. They should use well the money they have at Treasury. The issue of 93.7 million is fake allegation. 
These people have up to 146 billion plus 93 million. Because another thing that you should be aware of is that KRA <laughs> KRA is collecting about 6 billion every day. 6 billion every day. <clears throat> and on January 2022, KRA at least hit around, it was around 201 billion shilling in that month. KRA collected up to 201, 201 billion shillings just in one month. And remember, they're collecting 6 billion every day. How do you tell Kenyans that the only money you have is 93 million? That this means from the time William Ruto took over the government, KRA is not collecting. Or what are you trying to insinuate to the electorate? So with the figures that KRA has been able to hit, every day 6 billion. And of course, 201 billion at least one time on, Jan, on June 2022. Sasa mamba ya 93 million inatoka wapi? Senator Chirela Gay, please tell Kenya the truth. No need to shift blame. When you have been campaigning, it was clear. You have an agenda. Ya kutimiza. And by the way, President William Samoy Ruto was taking credit and he was even campaigning on all the achievements that the Jubilee government had managed to take, to, 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 to deliver. And because Ruto uh, was campaigning by taking credit from all this achievement of the government, in the same equal measures, he was supposed to take also the failures and the blame of the government. So Ruto, who was in the Jubilee government, is now the president forming the UDA government. All the blames that Chiralegei want to say about and talk about, Ruto should take the blame because he was part of that government and is there to form the government. No need of shifting blames. They should fix the country and they, they should stop lying. See you in our next video and let us meet in the comment section. But a quick request, I just want to give a shout out to two people uh, who have been super chatting us in the past time. Sharif Mustafu, thank you so much. BNZA1, thank you so much for always supporting our work through the super chat. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.